Hello, it's Louise here from Create with Louise and I'm continuing on with our, my series on stamping techniques. And the next technique is rock and roll stamping. So here we have a sample of the rock and roll stamping. We're going to be using this stamp which has also has a thin cut. Remembering to put it on an appropriate size block and I'm going to season it again even though it's been used. Our, one of our new colours, Rosemary. Because uh, it's a solid stamp which means I'm, the surface is solid you need to get good coverage so we're going to stamp it off first and then we're going to put it on the edge and rock just the edges around there so I hope okay, I'll do this again. I'll turn it over and hopefully you can. So we stamp it up first on a scrap piece. You would stamp it off. I'll bring this up a little closer and at an angle. You're going to just do the edges, rock it around the edges. And there we have, that's rock and roll stamping, as you can see in here. On this one, you know, you can vary the amount of ink that you want around the edge. Okay, we'll just clean off our block with our chamois. And we'll move on to the next technique. which is ombre stamping. Now I'll show you on a scrapbook page. I might take it out of the cover because of the glare. See, we've got the different shades there. So we're using this stamp set and thin cut. And we will require these two inks. So we always start with the lighter ink colour. And we stamp it all up. Or you can just stamp the top. Okay, so we've got ink on the top portion and then a little bit like rock and roll, start at the base and move up. And help you can have a look, see, see where it's going. One of those ones where I like to test out on scrap. before I put it on my project. Big stamp, so need to give it a bit of firm pressure in the center. And there we have ombre stamping. Very gorgeous look. One of my favorite stamping techniques.
now we're going to move on to masking. And I'm just doing a very simple masking technique here. And we'll just require post-it notes. You just want it in a particular area or there's a part of a stamp that you don't want to use. Harbour ink. So that's one type of masking and I'm going to show you another type of masking that you can do and you can mask off on the stamp itself like so. Washi tape also works really well for this. And there you have, I've got a little mark there. But you can get, and then you could use a different colour For the top portion. It's got ink on it now. So I'll try washi tape. And it might stick better. like so. Okay, we'll get another colour ink. Okay, then you can tear the washi tape off. Excuse my head in the picture. And there we have, you can have two different colours on one title. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed these stamping techniques and if you've missed the first one, that uh, video one, you can go back and watch that to um, have a look at um, what we did in the first video and I will see you in video three. Thank you for watching.